Well, here's where we're going today, the Castillo. I don't know the full name of it. I'll fill you in on that when we get there and I can read the sign. But uh, it looks pretty interesting. Like I said, never, never been here before. And, uh, all the time I've been to Puerto Rico, so this will be uh, this will be interesting. I think it's Castillo San Cristobal. Ah, see, see, si, si. Castillo San Cristobal. Well, we're here today at one of the oldest spots in Old San Juan and one of the most iconic. Bob, if you move the camera out that way, they can see the t towers that are on people's license plates. They come from this Castillo, Castillo San Cristobal. And I assume that it protected San Juan a long, long time ago from invaders. But we really know nothing about it. And that's why we're here today. So join us on a trip back in time through Castillo San Cristobal. Vamos! This map explains the importance of Puerto Rico. It was like uh, the first large island that was laid um, west of Europe and east of the Americas uh, and had a um, large island that had fresh water and a uh, protected harbor. So uh, the Spaniards built their super strong fortifications here and then spent uh, 400 years um, protecting it and, uh, and fighting over it. Well, met by a bunch of scary looking people here as we come into the ticket office. So here in San Juan, these are the oldest European type masonry fortifications in the United States territory. They were built between 1525 and 1787. Uh, they're pretty old. Very. Yeah. Alright, let's go in. Let's go. Well, here we are at the inside. Antonio Banderas. DJ, 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 Ken Martin. So the Tres Banderas here, DJ. the Burgundy Cross, Martin, was here. a Spanish military flag that flew here through most of the colonial, uh, Spanish colonial period. And obviously the Puerto Rican and the uh, United States flag. Quite interesting that they're still flying the Spanish flag over over this fort. Go Going to the main firing battery in level two. Wow. It's a little bigger than I expected it would be. <laughs> I guess that's why it's called the main firing battery. <laughs> wow. I don't know the actual depth list, but it looks like 12, 12 to 15 feet here. That's a pretty darn fortified. Yeah, looking out over San Juan proper over here. Leftover cannonballs, didn't fire at anyone. So one cruise ship here today, looking out over the inner harbor. Wow, this is spectacular view here. Renee, come by. Wait a minute, JC, just one. Okay. This place is just massive. Holy heck. This is uh, looking out over the North Atlantic. structure right here was actually built during World War II and it was actively manned uh, by the US military to scan for uh, uh, German submarines and, and warships uh, during the war. In fact this whole thing was, uh, uh, it was manned by the military until about uh, I don't know, uh, the 1950s and it was finally transferred over to the Park Service in uh, 1961. So this is all 
pretty recent addition to you know, the park service. It's just, uh, just amazing. Inside, where it was actively manned and scanned for German submarines and warships here on the North Atlantic. Wow, pretty good here. whether they filled that with water or not. area out here. And uh, look, there's another second cruise ship in here in San Juan today. It's incredible. A little rough out there today. That guy's bouncing up and down. Here's the chapel. It was, laid, it was added after the major fortress, probably in the, uh, the 1800s. So, the fortress was here for a long time before this thing was constructed. So that was a really interesting day at Castillo San Cristobal here in Old San Juan. And um, we paid about $10 each to get in, so $20. And that admission gets us into both San Cristobal, but also El Moro, the larger fort at the other end of Old San Juan. We just have to visit it within two days to get free entrance to El Moro. So that'll be the next video. But until then, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to make sure you get notified of all of our upcoming videos. And may your suitcase always be messy. Hasta luego!